Today on our 2012 Chevrolet Silverado Extended Cab, we're going to be installing the Clausio Custom Leather Seat Covers. They're available in light gray, part number L-EAGMB7511LLL, in beige, part number L-EAGMB7511TTT, and finally in black, part number L-EAGMB711BK. The Clausio seat covers are a custom leather seat cover designed specifically to fit your Chevrolet Silverado. They're going to give you full coverage on both the driver and passenger sides, including the headrests and the center seat and console. You're going to get that same full coverage here in the back seat and it won't interfere with the operation of our seats. It replaces both your driver and passenger seat rear pockets and they're just as deep. All of the covers feature a perforated memory foam center, so it's gonna be comfortable and breathable. It tucks in nicely all around the trim, so it's gonna remain that factory look. All of the covers feature double stitching, so they're gonna be durable and long lasting, and it won't interfere with your seat airbags. All of the covers are very easy to keep clean, just use some warm soapy water and a wet cloth. So here's what our seats look like without our Clausio seat covers installed. They're cloth for one thing, and they're faded, worn out, and wrinkled. And they're about the same here in the back. So we're gonna start right here on the seat cushion on our driver's side. We'll grab our corresponding piece. They're all labeled, so we'll just need to match it up per our instructions. First thing we wanna do is turn it inside out. Then we can set it in place. We want to take our back tab here and push it between our seats. Just tuck it in. Okay, here on the back side, we're just going to pull that tab that we tucked in on through. Then we can take our string here and we're gonna tuck it down in between here. We just need to be able to access it from underneath the seat in the back. So I'm gonna undo the knot here really quick and then tuck it down through there. Now we've got a string on each side, so we'll just need to tuck it in the corner on each side. With our string tucked in in the front, on the back side, we need to be able to access it and pull it down like we said. So this entire plastic trim piece here, we're just going to pull loose and I'm going to pull it aside. Our string is just going to come out right here. And we'll do that same process for the other side. With everything tucked in, we can begin folding it around our cushion. So I'm going to start here at the corner and just work my way around. And what we want to do is we want to take our included tool and we want to tuck it in around our trim here. Now you can also use your hands to kind of pull out on that trim to get that started. And then we can just tuck it in around. For tying up our string, what we want to do is we want to pull it nice and tight, but don't break it. And then we're gonna tie a knot. And then we're gonna have an extra set of hands come in and hold that while we tie one more knot. Just like that. For the string here, we're just gonna bundle it up just like we talked about. Tuck it behind the trim here. And then we're gonna push it all back in place. With everything connected, tied up, and tucked in, our seat cover is nice and smooth, and we're ready to move on to the backrest. In order to do the backrest, we'll need to first remove the headrest. So we can pick it up, Now we've got a little tab that we can push in on this side. But on the other side, we've got a little pinhole, so I'm just going to take a small Allen key and push that in to release it. And then we can just take the whole thing out. Now we'll grab our corresponding piece and we're gonna turn this one halfway inside out. 
and it's going to look something like this. Now we can put it on top and start pulling it down. We want to make sure that our perforated portion here is facing towards the steering wheel. Now the key is here to pull it down and alternate each side. Once we get it all the way down, let's grab our included tool and bring our headrest connections through. So it doesn't matter rightly which end you use. I like to use this end because it makes it a little bit easier. So we're just gonna use our fingers and our tool and just kind of tuck that in around, just like that. For this side, just the same. Then we can continue pulling the backrest cover down if you haven't already. Once we get to the very bottom, we'll just take this portion here and tuck it in around the trim here. Now let's tuck our tab in at the bottom. We're just gonna push it through just as we did with our bottom cushion. And we just need to be able to access it from the back. Here on the back side, you can see how the tab we tucked in is coming through. What we wanna do is we wanna pull that nice and tight, and then we want to connect it to the top tab here. Pull it down, then we're just going to connect it together, just like that. Now let's install the headrest cover. To make this easy, we're actually going to reinstall the headrest itself. And then when we put our cover on, we need to make sure that the pattern itself lines up. So we've got a short side here, and then the long side here. So we just need to make sure that it matches up with our headrest. We can actually start by turning it slightly inside out, just like the backrest, and then we're gonna pull it down over the top. We can just continue pulling it down, alternating from each side. Once we get it mostly on, we can actually take it back off, and then attach it at the bottom. I'm just making sure that everything's all filled out before I connect it. And the way you connect it is you're gonna take this channel here and the plastic piece here. You're gonna sort of roll it over like that, and then you're going to tuck it in to the channel. So it's gonna give that nice finished look to it. It may take you a couple tries, but at the end it's going to look like this, and then any anything that you may need to tuck in before it's finished. With it finished up, we can go ahead and reinstall it, and then go ahead and repeat the whole process for the passenger seat. With both our driver and passenger seats covered, we're going to go ahead and move on to our center seat cushion. So we can raise up our center console and we're gonna be working with this one right here. I'm gonna be sure to grab our corresponding piece. I'm actually going to open it up slightly. Our cover here has an opening for our handle at the top. So with it in the open position, I'm gonna go ahead and just slip it on over. Just gonna alternate sides as I'm pulling down. All right, then we want to take our included tool and tuck that in around our handle. Now it can help just to kind of stretch it out around the side. There we go, now we can attach it at the bottom. We need to take this tab here, we're gonna tuck it underneath, and we're gonna raise it back up and bring it around the bottom here. Then we're gonna pull it down nice and tight here, and then pull it nice and tight up from underneath, and then connect it. Just like that. Now we can try it out. Looks good. Let's move on to the backrest portion. So for putting this piece on, I'm gonna slightly fold it at an angle undo the hook and loop, kind of bring it over the top, and draw it down into place. 
Get the corners all lined up. For the bottom here, I'm just gonna slightly tuck that in underneath just so I can easily grab it from the back side. And we can fold it back down. I'm gonna take the piece here, bring it around the back side, about like that. Make sure everything's all lined up. And then we can come around to the back side. Here on the passenger side, we'll need to do some tucking in. We've got these pieces here that we need to tuck in around this trim. So I'm gonna take my tool, find the edge here, and just kind of bring it around. Here on the driver's seat, I folded the seat back so we can see, but we've still got some tucking in to do here. So we'll take our tool, I'm just gonna get it over that, that trim piece and tuck it into where it needs to be. Now in order to connect it together, we need to make sure that the hook and loop flap here is visible. Right here, we've got our cover that was tucked in from the front side. I'm just going to pull that out and up around the corners here. Then I'm gonna start connecting it together. Just like that. With it all connected, we can go ahead and flip it up and check it out. I'd say it looks pretty good. With the entire front being done, let's go ahead and move on to the back. To start off in the back here, we're gonna do the large bench seat cushion. So we'll grab our piece. We'll need to undo the hook and loop in the back here. I'm going to lift up the seat partially, line up both ends, and then just slide it on. Once again, it's good to alternate sides. Just makes it a little bit easier to get on. Corners all filled out. Then what we want to do is take our flap here and tuck it between our seats so we can access it from underneath. Now it's definitely easier to have the seat up at an angle. It kind of gives you more room to tuck that in. Here you want to make sure you go underneath your seat belt and underneath that anchor point there. With our seat folded up underneath, you can see the flap that we tucked between our seats. We need to connect it to this hook and loop here. So just give it a good tug all the way around. Same thing with the portion here. Pull it down. I'm gonna start here in the center and then just connect it together. With that connected, I'm gonna work my way out on both sides. Now we can fold it down and check it out. I'd say it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and start off on the backrest portion. To begin our backrest portion, we'll of course need to remove that headrest. So I'll raise it up, Just take my small Allen key. Now we can take our backrest portion. We we'll wanna be sure and undo that hook and loop. Then I'm going to slide it behind my seatbelt and just kind of set it in place. Now for the back, we'll raise up our large tab here and that needs to be tucked in behind our seat. The trick there is to lift up that bottom cushion again and that opens up a nice large gap for you on the back side. So then we can just drop it down. We just need to be able to access that from underneath. Here on the underside, you can see how our large tab has gotten pushed down through. We just need to draw that out a little bit further. So I'm actually going to pull the seat back out towards me a little bit. That's just gonna allow us a little bit more room. I'm gonna make sure to pull it down evenly around that entire backside. Now that we were able to pull it down on the underside a little bit, we'll need to come back up to the top and fill out our corners. 
then we'll need to take the bottom tab down here and kind of push it in around the seat and on down so we can access it through the underside just like the large tab. And then underneath I should be able to grab that. Now our corner tab is going to come down right through here. So I just need to pull that down a bit more. I'm actually going to fold the seat back out a little bit but you can see here it is. So I'll just pull that down just like the other. And we'll repeat the same process for the other corner. Now let's pull down our bottom cushion and we'll need to tuck in this bottom flap here. So we've got this opening here. This is where our anchors are gonna come through. There we go. And we just need to be able to grab it from the underside. So with the seat folded back up, we can just go underneath and pull that tab down. Now before we connect our hook and loop together, we need to take our included tool and uncover those headrest connections up top. Now let's go back underneath, stretch out our hook and loop, and then connect it together. We'll give those two hook and loop tabs just one good extra pull, and then we're just gonna connect them together and we'll work our way down. With everything connected underneath, let's go ahead and fold it down and check it out. I'd say it all looks pretty good. Now our rear headrests here and our single seat all install the same way. So we're just gonna repeat the same process. With our whole back seat area finished, that's gonna complete our install. And we've got leather interior. And that's gonna complete our installation of the Clausio Custom Leather Seat Covers on our 2012 Chevrolet Silverado Extended Cab. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.